President Donald Trump has again sparked outrage after finally addressing the catastrophic conditions on the island of Puerto Rico. It's been without electricity, safe drinking water, food and fuel since being hit by Hurricane Maria. Trump seemingly blamed the islands for the conditions it's facing, saying it's billions of dollars of debt to Wall Street and the banks must be dealt with. Maria, the most powerful hurricane to hit Puerto Rico in nearly a century, devastated the Caribbean island when it struck the U.S. territory with ferocious winds and torrential rains last week. Puerto Rico, which is already suffering from broken infrastructure and massive debt, is in deep trouble, Trump wrote on Twitter in a series of posts. What the media and politicians haven't addressed are the roots of Puerto Rico's economic crisis, which many, like economist Mark Weisbrot, say result of U.S. policies that have extracted the wealth of Puerto Rico. And it would never happen if it weren't for Puerto Rico's colonial status. It's, you know, it's uh, technically an unincorporated uh, territory of the United States. So they don't have control over their most important economic policies. If they were an independent country, for example, they, this could never happen. They would default on their debt like, you know, Argentina did back in uh, beginning of uh, 2001. And then they would have a chance to uh, return to growth. This is the kind of thing that only happens when a country really is uh, just has no control over its macroeconomic policies and other policies. And of course, uh, part of the reason they're in the mess in the first place is because they were hit by a number of external shocks uh, since the 90s that were not of their own making. They were a result of decisions that were made by the U.S. government or by result of international treaties that the U.S. negotiated, like the WTO, for example, that they didn't have a voice in and they couldn't really adapt to without having, again, control over their economic policies. The virtual U.S. colony, struggling with $72 billion in debt, filed the biggest government bankruptcy in U.S. history earlier this year. And it's really terrible. I mean, already they've got uh, you know, 46 percent poverty, 58 percent child poverty, which is, uh, you know, almost three times the level of the United States. Their unemployment is 11.7 percent, more than two and a half times what uh, the unemployment is in the in the United States. Um, investment has fallen from around uh, 20 percent in 1999 to about 7.9 percent. And any indicator you look at, it's horrible. And they get squeezed also because, and this is again a result of their colonial status, like even though they pay uh, Medicare uh, taxes, they're not getting the same uh, Medicare funding from the United States government that uh, the states get. They don't get anywhere near the Medicaid uh, support. And so that's another, they've got a real health care crisis because of that. Because for all our coverage of Puerto Rico and full interview with Mark Weisbrot, go to therealnews.com. This is Jessel Noor.